What's green has two eyes, weighs 3,000 pounds, and runs more than 300 miles per hour? Must be some kind of prehistoric creature, right? Well, yes and no. It's the Green Mamba Jet Car, and it's been thrilling fans for more than 40 years. I've signed pictures and, and, and uh, posters. posters that I've had, sometimes three times, because they pass the poster, the picture on to the next kid, to the next kid. So like this place I've been where I've got three generations of, of kids who are, are watching this car. Doug Rose began working on the Green Mamba in 1967. He and his wife Jeannie have been taking it to racetracks and drag strips nationwide ever since. But life driving the jet car has not been easy. In the 70s, a terrifying crash left the car destroyed and Doug a double amputee. We actually were running in the rain, which we'd done before. We had rain tires on the car. And it got up and the nose went into the guardrail, spun the car around. And when I went to get out of the car, I figured, well, maybe my legs just did hurt real bad, you know, I didn't know that they were gone. And uh, I found I didn't have anything to stand on, so I just rolled out of the car and laid on the track there. Despite Doug's misfortune, his fierce determination soon put him back behind the wheel of a rebuilt green mamba. Racetrack announcer Wolf Bowers can attest to Doug's celebrity. Doug Rose is a living legend. This guy, man, is over 1,500 wins under his belt. Everybody in the world knows who he is. I'm just honored to be in his presence. The legend took another hit recently when the couple awoke one morning to find the Green Mamba trailer and all stolen. I was almost in tears. We've had this car. We built this car 30 years ago, or 40 years ago. It's like, it's like a baby. It's like a kid. And this is our life leader. We, we do it, you know, not because we get paid. We do it because we love what we're doing. The car was recovered one month later, savagely cut into pieces to be sold for scrap. Once again, the Green Mamba had to be rebuilt. Fortunately for Doug, he has a lot of know-how, a lot of patience, and a shop full of spare parts. That's a, that's, a, that's a what? Flame tube. That's what I said. That's a flame tube is what you got right there. That's what that is. On a drag strip, the Green Mamba's F7 fighter jet engine can shoot the car to more than 300 miles per hour in seconds. But just seeing, hearing, and feeling her run is exhilarating. I even had the privilege to try her on for size. Yeah, it's, it's got all the gadgets and everything. It's got all the all the right stuff, but I'm a little disappointed there's there's no DVD player. Doug. I, it blew out and got sucked out to high speed. I see. Maybe in your next one. <laughs> Although there are several jet cars touring the circuit these days, Doug Rose and his Green Mamba gave new meaning to the phrase pushing the envelope four decades ago. And as long as there are fans waiting for a thrill, Doug, Jeannie, and their four-wheeled baby will be ready to light up the track. get this thing up to 300 miles an hour is pretty interesting. To, to go as fast as you can isn't something you do because you have to. It's something to do because we really want to. I mean, really want to. 